Hey there LEGO fans, welcome back, Alex here. In this video, we are gonna be doing a review of a new mock uh, that I've recently added to the city. I know it's been a long time since I've actually done a mock, uh, but here it is. Uh, this is the uh, Firehouse Subs mock, uh, or restaurant uh, that I've added to the city here. On the other side, there is a ice cream cone shop. And you'll notice that the Firehouse Subs building there has two floors, and that is because the upstairs is an actual apartment building. So uh, I took inspiration uh, from some of the things that I saw at the Brick Slopes Lego convention, uh, mainly a couple of restaurant mocks there. There was a Jersey Mike's uh, subs as well as a Wiener Schnitzel, and I thought it'd be cool to uh, do a couple of restaurants for the residential area here. Uh, but I only had one slot, so I had to put uh, the mock on a 32 by 32 base plate, uh, and uh, this is what I came up with here. Uh, so what I'm gonna do here is grab this thing out of the city, bring it over to the desk, and let's take a look at this thing uh, both inside and out. We've extracted the restaurant, and here it is, guys. Let's go ahead and give this thing a uh, 360 spin first, and then we'll look at the inside. Uh, now, the biggest challenge as far as the exterior goes is making the front look good. It has to be the best looking uh, more detailed part of the build did a lot of trial and error with this thing but i think all in all it works out pretty well uh, now finding out how to put some signage in the front that says hey this is a firehouse restaurant was a challenge i was actually visiting a firehouse uh, recently with my wife Mindy and I went up to them and I said hey do you guys have any stickers and they they had a roll of these things and I thought hey you know what that should work so I took a bunch of those from them and as you can see uh, adapted it to uh, some black elements there and that worked out pretty well I was pretty happy with that so it's undoubtedly a firehouse subs founded by firemen all right let's go ahead and take a look at the side of this thing uh, not a lot going on here use a lot of the uh, a masonry bricks there as you can see here's the back uh, and it uh, has this main entrance well it's the only entrance really for the apartment upstairs it does protrude by a brick just because i had to get that the amount of steps right here to reach that uh, upper level there but it worked out pretty well uh, we also have a fire escape or at least some roof access i thought it'd be kind of nice to uh, add that detail there as well uh, just some details some slight details here at the top just trying to make something like some sort of i don't know AC unit up there. Um, I don't know if I succeeded or not, but regardless, there it is. At the back here, as you can see, it does transition uh, really quickly uh, to the other restaurant, uh, which is an ice cream shop. Now this should look very familiar to many of you uh, because I did a review of this set right here and placed it in my city. Uh, however, I wasn't too keen on keeping it there. And now Jason from Jason's Bricks and Five was visiting and I was telling him my plans here. I was kind of in the middle of building this and I thought, I don't know what I'm gonna do next door to it. And he said, well, if you're not gonna keep the ice cream shop, put the ice cream shop there, just use the pieces. And I thought, you know what? That is a great idea. So thanks Jason for that suggestion. And as you can see, the result is fantastic. I think it looks pretty good and not a bad neighbor to Firehouse Sub. So I guess you can have a Firehouse Sub and then go have uh, some dessert there right next door. All right, so yeah, that is the exterior. Let's go ahead and take a look at the inside. We'll start with the uh, apartment upstairs here. Now my approach with this was to actually make it look more like college kids live here. So it's uh, supposed to look a little bit messy, a little cluttered. Uh, so let's go ahead and kind of do a 360 spin here. Well, first off, let's go ahead and show you the entrance there. Come in, I got uh, some lamps there, a place to sit. There are some pizza boxes there as well. Um, and kind of like a kitchenette there, not a full on kitchen. There's no fridge. I got to work on that. There's just not a lot of room in there. Uh, did use a picture from the office set there. So there's Dwight Schrute and Michael Scott doing their, uh, commercial, uh, got two beds in here. They're identical. I was really happy with the beds, really uh, proud of myself for that little, uh, basic accommodation there. Uh, some clutter there, some, uh, bags and some, uh, bowls or plates kind of, uh, scattered on the ground there as well and a little uh, computer there uh, to do their homework and do their papers. I gave them a bathroom. Uh, so there's a little uh, picture there. I love HLC, Heart Lake City. And I don't know the bathroom. I don't know. Let me see if I can kind of lift this up here. It is okay, I, I guess. I mean, it's got a toilet and a sink. Uh, there's no shower um, and there's no door. I couldn't find a door that was a solid door. I have uh, trans transparent or translucent doors, but uh, so I guess they're going to have to 
uh, unfortunately close their eyes or get a curtain or something like that. Starving students, right, guys? Uh, so yeah, that is the upstairs. That is the apartment. And the, you know what? Uh, comparatively to other places in the city, it's not a bad spot to live. The upper level has been removed. So yes, this is modular. I, I always like doing things the modular way. Uh, here's the firehouse sub sign. Let me go ahead and take this thing off and show you guys how this is done. Turn that around. Uh, it is built kind of like opposite of each other. Uh, so there are some elements that are upside down. Uh, so I have this uh, two by four brick there uh, attached to some snot elements holding those together. So yeah, these uh, the sticker is across uh, several levels of Lego. So if the Lego ever came apart, the sticker would have a really hard time. So let's go ahead and put that back on there. Very, very cool. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at this, you guys. So here is the interior. Um, I got a couple of uh, customers, uh, Joey and his wife from Brick Trains. And we also have Jordan Paxton from the Minifig Mayhem episode. Uh, this is where we ended up placing him, is just outside. So they are the official first customers. Uh, inside here, we have a couple of workers that are uh, doing their job, uh, making sandwiches. Let me go ahead and take a look here at some of the ingredients that they're working with. We've got a fridge there in the back. Uh, I don't really know. I just kind of, I've never worked at a restaurant before. I'm just kind of going off of my observations as I visit. Wanted to make some decorations <laughs> that are applicable to, you know, firefighters in general. So we got an axe on the wall over there as well. And I always go through all, all of my uh, printed tiles or stickered tiles and just kind of see what I have in stock. And I found this uh, two by four Lego one. I thought, hey, let's put that in there as well. Uh, we've got some condiments here in the back corner. And we also have that very robust high-tech soda machine. Uh, so you can type in uh, what soda you want and it'll dispense that there for you as well. So uh, yeah, there it is. Uh, the tiling on the floor was a challenge. I didn't really have any good colors for it, uh, but I did notice that I had a lot of, well, not a lot, but a few of the uh, uh, gray and black uh, triangle tiles or half tiles. So I use those to kind of put a little bit of a decoration there. Not a lot of room to sit. And I will admit that many figures actually don't even fit in these because of their arms sticking out. So having a wall right there is not really ideal. Uh, but you know what? It's fine. Or it's gonna. No one's gonna see it. It's gonna be in the city. So, anyway, there it is, guys. That is the inside of the firehouse. Let's go ahead and take a look next door. Now, the ice cream shop has basically everything that was inside of the actual Lego set itself. I did add a few decorations. I mean, I put this thing in there. I don't know what that's supposed to be. As you can see, I also found another uh, sticker <laughs> tile uh, from the office set. It is your birthday. <laughs> so uh, there's the balloon there in the corner. We got this father and son uh, getting some ice cream. And we got all the fun fixings and treats there uh, for ice cream. And I had a good time actually building the, uh, the exterior walls of this thing. I really like how this turned out. Really making that... Uh, um, that big window, that angled window, really, really super long. I really like how that turned out. On the other side there, of course, just using the same uh, stuff that they had in this set, it was actually pretty easy. Just take everything they had, uh, modify it slightly, and put it all together. Um, I did put my own uh, gray tiles there as the floor, or not tiles, but the uh, the plates. Um, I couldn't really make that other, other one work that came with the set. Let me see if I can, yeah, here it is. That was just too awkward of a shape, so... Uh, that didn't quite make the cut, but everything else did. And you know what? It worked out pretty well. So let's go ahead and put this thing back together. Put that right there. Now, I did actually have the first floor of this one a little taller, so I had to put that those bricks there across it to kind of cover that gap, which did okay. Put that on top of there. Who, who needs to... Oops, I always break this. There in the back, there we go. Who should live here? Who are some uh, starving students? I mean, this is actually next door to my K-12 school. So um, it's not gonna be uh, a college campus, right? Um, I was thinking like uh, the idea was that whoever's running the, uh, the shop downstairs uh, should live here. Uh, but uh, I don't know. I guess I'm open to some sh suggestions there. Also, should I continue these uh, circular tiles all the way around to the top? Maybe, I don't know. Just kind of put them there on the front. Uh, but anyway, yeah, let me go ahead and put this thing back in the uh, in the city. Hope you guys enjoyed that quick tour of the latest and greatest mock of the city of Minneapolis, the firehouse subs and ice cream shop. I'm sure the citizens of Minneapolis are just loving that, especially those who live in this area. I guess maybe even uh, especially the kids that go to school right here because they have an ice cream shop 
very, very close to them. Uh, as always, you guys, if you have a sig fig already in the city that you've sent to me and you want me to uh, move you to different areas of the city, you know, be sure to, to do that. I'm happy to do that for you. Just uh, shoot me a message or a comment and I will move you around, especially if you want to go to the, uh, the ice cream shop there or any other mocks or any other locations in the city. I can move you around and you'll see yourself there in future videos. Uh, speaking of future videos, uh, I'm going to be working on the Disney Castle again. A lot of great suggestions about the base there so that'll be redone and hopefully look better among other things so thanks for your suggestions keep them coming also I'll make mention that I am doing memberships on my channel so check that out I click on that join button to see what it's all about uh, would love to have you and with additional content made just for you as well as early access to certain videos all right guys that is it for me today thank you so much for watching really appreciate it guys and we'll see you in the next one bye bye